Today, I'll teach you how to remember things. This applies to anything you want to remember for as long as you want to remember it. And to do it, we will use a tool called Anki. <laughs> Students learn tons of things constantly. So does anyone with access to the internet and a curiosity to learn things. However, you tend to only remember things that you find extraordinarily interesting or things that you actually put to use. Consequently, most adults might only remember a few percent of what they learned throughout their 12 plus years of school. You will be familiar with this if you've ever asked a parent for help with math homework and they've only stared at it blankly. What if instead you could remember all the things you wanted to remember from school, history facts, bio biology processes, country flags, etc., throughout your entire life, remembering all of these facts into your old age. What if you could add to that movie quotes, uh, friends' birthdays, recipes you wanted to remember, or snippets of language that you find important and interesting? This is a skill that almost nobody has and that very few have even heard of or been introduced to. Yet a major part of excelling at school is simply remembering things. To not be introduced to this system is nearly criminal. So, what is the key to this super memory? Again, it is called Anki. Anki is Spaced Repetition Software, or SRS. You'll review cards when you're close to forgetting them, but push back cards that you already know well. That way, you don't waste time studying things that you already know well, but can queue up review for cards uh, reviews for cards months or even years out from when you first learned them. Anki is but one example of our SRS software. There are others, but Anki is the most famous, being both free and open source. In this way, at 47, you'll be able to remember the capitals of Bolivia because you've seen that flashcard five times since you learned it in high school, the last a mere four years ago. This process takes only seconds of effort to remember the facts that you want to remember. And that's a key distinction. If you hate a subject, don't add it to your Anki decks, or you can use an Anki deck short term to pass a test and then delete it. And if there's anything else you think would be useful to pull out in conversation or to keep in mind or memorize for safekeeping, add it to the deck. Don't limit yourself just to school facts. So. Let's take a quick look at my deck on country flags and how Anki might help me to remember them. Okay, so here are my Anki decks on Anki Droid. And let's first take a look at this geography deck. Now you'll see three numbers in the upper left corner. The blue is new cards you've never seen before. Seven is reviews and uh, 10 is older reviews. So seven is reviews that are in progress and 10 are ones that uh, haven't, haven't been seen yet in this session. So I see this flag. I really have no idea what it is, even though I've seen it in this session. This is from a couple of days ago, actually. I'm going to guess Sierra Leone. I don't think that's what it is. It is not. It is Burkina Faso. Let us put again on that. So you see... If I did a poor job like I just did, uh, I will see it again in 10 minutes. If it was good, I'll see it again tomorrow. If it was easy, I'll see it in two days. This is a, a card that I don't really know at all, clearly. So uh, I'll hit again. Uh, here's um, one on a map, a couple of islands. I think this is maybe St. Kitts and the Grenadines. Um, although it's a, there's a lot of islands here, so I'm not 100% sure. St. Kitts and Nevis. I, I got the name wrong. I'm going to say this is hard because I got at least one of those islands right. The last one, let's look at it. I believe this is maybe uh, Slo Slovakia. I believe this is the Slovakian flag. Oh, it's Slovenia. Another Slo. They're nearby each other. Okay, we'll put this down as hard. But you'll see on this card that I have got it right in the past. So easy here is set for four days out. Whereas a card that you know really, really well, easy might be six months or a year or even two years out. Uh, this one would be four days if I got it easy. I did not. I'll hit six minutes hard. Next, let's take a quick look at my Omni deck for general study called Trivia. Okay, again, here is the trivia Omni deck. So a key fact I want to know about, human split from chimps and bonobos. I believe this was six million years ago. 
about six million. Okay, I got this right. It wasn't too hard to recall. I'll review this again in four days, being easy. Myers Brig has what the predictive power of Big Five. Now this could um, have a little bit more detail, but this is really a very personalized deck for me. So um, uh, I know this is just the percent, like what what percent of the predictive power versus Big Five. I uh, know it's one half. I also have the source here, something you might want to remember. Again, this was pretty easy. Myers Brig have has half the predictive power of Big Five. Easy for. Um, when people say, what are some things that Trump said that have been lies? Um, I have another one for Biden, by the way. Uh, I have a lot of key facts to just bring out in debates that I tend to have usually by myself in my own head, but hey, whatever. So, uh, the size of his inauguration, uh, Mexico will pay for the wall. Um, just a couple, but there's, you know, plenty plenty to do. Uh, his own accomplishments, that's something I forgot about, so that he just says that everything he does has been the best, okay, uh, that's something to remember for next time, we will review that again in 10 minutes, there we go, and uh, zodiac sign, this is the last example, so I'm trying to remember here when the, um, when, when this, what dates this zodiac sign is for, um, uh, that's a, a different card. This is the um, just the symbol, kind of kind of what it means exactly. Now Libra is, um, I believe, the scales, and there is some good and bad attribute. I don't remember what they are, so let's see the answer. So it is scales, the air sign, justice. And here's the the uh, good and bad traits about the sign. So look at that. Six minutes. Uh, here's a scientific theory that uh, I thought was super interesting. I want to remember, again, to be able to pull out in conversation. So, um, yeah, you can see here that the potential for these decks is really large, and you can study just about anything and really study it very efficiently to maximize your memory. I hope those examples helped. Another beautiful feature of Anki is shared decks, which you can download from a large database online. If you want to learn the key facts for biochemistry in college or key syntax in JavaScript or study for a certification, those decks already exist online, saving you time while putting to work the same powerful software. And if those decks do not exist, you can help contribute to the community by making the deck and sharing it. So I hope that helps. I highly encourage you to download the app and use it for your next uh, tricky memorization heavy class to see if it's right for you. I wish you luck on your studying journey. And remember to subscribe if you want more life advice from a 32-year-old man.